because he was in the industry, he had to have mad girls up in the studio and everything like that. I'm not going to mention the other people that's in that frame that I have. I got a whole lot of stories they never even heard of. He asked him to go get something. I went and got it. He said, yo, Gene, they want to F you while he was laying in the bed with both of them. And I said, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm all right. And walked out. That's the only time. I think that any man that force any woman to do anything, it should be like the Arab countries. They just start cutting shit off, to be totally honest, of that man. Any man that forces any woman to do anything, they should treat them like they treat them in the Arab countries and just start cutting shit off from their fingers, to their hands, to their feet, to their genitals, to their head. You know what I'm saying? So now, another thing of it is, is that how low do you have to be when you're gonna put somebody on a jet and fly them all the way to New York, to the studio? To me, bro, to be totally honest, it sounds kind of fishy to me. I, I, I can't, but, and then it came from Hard Pierre. The Hard Pierre I knew back in there, back in them days, was a cornball that did everything Puff said. You know what I mean? Like he was, he was, he was one of Diddy highest dick riders. So I don't know that Hard Pierre. The time they said it happened when I was reading in 2003, I was around at that time. You know what I'm saying? Me and about eight, nine other bodyguards. See, what people don't know, that Puff had a lot of bodyguards. Everybody has certain days. You understand? I had Saturdays and Sundays. And then when Puff went away or they were certain place and I was off work, they may call me and say, yo, Gene, Puff wants you here. Can you come, this, that, and the third. And if I could, I would. If I did, I, I didn't. It, it wasn't no big thing. So. For them to do that, man, that's some real thirsty, desperate shit. So, does that mean Beyonce was also forced to be a part of the freak-offs? No matter what, no one expected to have Beyonce and Diddy's freak-offs in the same sentence. That's right. Beyonce, who is known for her grace and her composed personality, is now making headlines for something no one saw coming, not even her sister Solange. Apparently, Beyonce is losing her calm as she is now being exposed in an alleged leaked footage of a Diddy freak-off party. And see all the things that she done. And just, just picture, why would somebody lie about her? What is it about her that somebody would want to tell a lie about? I'm not going to mention the other people that's in that frame that I have because they are so big right now, it would mess up their career. Do you understand me? I'm not the only one with the copy, but I'm the only one, I'm the one who gave it to them. Do you understand me? What she talking about is that when I said that we were at Kanye West party in North Hollywood, I was bodyguarding Scott Storch at the time. Do you understand? Listen here, I was bodyguarding Scott Storch. I don't want to told Scott, let's get up out of here, because they was about to do some, do some damage to us, bro. I can't listen to me, man. So now she's going to get out there, and she's going to sit up and talk about, yo, he's lying just to, he'll do anything just to get interviews and all that stuff. Man, listen to me. I got way more stories than a Gloria Velez story. I got a whole lot of stories they never even heard of. So me saying what she said, come on, man. Here's what we mean. Now, if we are doing the math right, the footage might be from the same time as Diddy's 50th birthday bash. For those of you who are probably living under a busty rock, there's a lot that went down on the night Sean Diddy Combs graced 50 years. So what happened? 
and why is Beyonce in an alleged video of a freak-off? Even though Beyonce's outfit for the birthday party that night was well-documented online, those who weren't present at the celebration plainly wanted to see more. And even those who did make it to the celebration were prepared to give the public what it wanted, but Queen Bee's husband was having none of it. In a video that has already gone viral on social media, but of course is now nowhere to be seen, someone at Diddy's party was allegedly shooting on their phone as they were close to Beyonce dancing and getting intimate. Seeing this, it is reported that Jay immediately grabbed the phone out of their hands when he noticed them doing so. Now, it's unknown why Jay took that action, but it's obvious that he has his wife's back, even if it wasn't to prevent video of them dancing from escaping. Yet, it seems from reports that there's more to it than that. That's some real thirsty, desperate shit for them to fly a 17-year-old girl, you know, on a G5, they was flying G5 and G4 jets back then all the way to New York to gang her in the studio? Man. I wish I could, I wish I, I wish I could, uh, give them the, give them their punishment. If that's true. Yeah, that's what she said, man. She said that Diddy, he flew her to New York, took her to the studio, gave her a drink, the game. And there's pictures online too. So she was at his studio, daddy house. So, I mean, she ain't lying about that. She was there, man. Well, if anything, if, at that time, if anything came from Detroit, it was one of Puff A&R, they called him Slam. He was from Detroit. He used to set up everything, you know, for Diddy. The time I told y'all about Diddy getting a fellatio when Jennifer Lopez was upstairs, Slam set that up. You know what I mean? So if it came from Detroit, it, it probably came from Slam. Cause he was another one of the dudes that was a flunky around there. You know, but that's the, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. I, I, I really don't, I, I got daughters, man. I have, I have words, I, I don't have words for that, bro. And, and, and I don't know any of the guys who were officers that worked for bad boy like myself would allow that shit to happen. They wouldn't allow that shit to go down. Puff and them, they know what to do when certain people are around. Do you understand? When they got those dudes who was, you know, from the hood and they was doing bodyguard work and, and they was doing stuff like that, they made, but I don't know any of the officers that I knew that was working for Puff would allow any of that shit to go down. Cause they know they could lose their job and they could be brought up on charges too. And if we are making sense of it all all right, Rumor has it that Beyonce was just dancing in any part. She was enjoying her fullest in what seemed like a freak-off part, which we all know the rapper is famous for. Bro, we was on a tour bus one time. He had two snow bunnies. They, we picked them up in Dallas. One of the NBA basketball players introduced them to him. He asked me to go get something. I went and got it. He said, yo, Gene, they want to F you while he was laying in the bed with both of them. And I said, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm all right. And walked out. That's the only time. Uh, old Diddy something. I don't know what she owed him, but she would let uh, Diddy know wherever Jennifer was at so he could do something. He was trying to get Luther Vantros over there to sing to her. You know what I'm saying? He was gonna sing, he was trying to get Luther Vandross over there to sing to Jennifer. You know, so, but Jennifer wasn't going for that because she had went through enough of his bull crap. Even when we come to the studio and there's like mad girls up in there and they being disrespectful or whatever like that, he was trying to convince her that, you know, uh, because he was in the industry, he had to have mad girls up in the studio and everything like that. And honestly, it all does make a lot of sense. Do you recall when Solange was so mad at Jay because she was just at her breaking point about whatever he was doing to Beyonce? According to current accounts, Jay may have been the one to introduce Beyonce to drugs, as well as these freak-offs and other questionable actions. You think about if Harley was part of intelligence, right? What kind of people you think are surrounding my kids? What kind of people you think are in that house right now? My kids go to Sierra Canyon. It's a Jewish school that doesn't teach Christianity to these Christian kids. 
at Christmas time. They're teaching Kwanzaa to black kids. They say, hey, this is your, this is your Christmas. This is all indoctrination. This is all mind control. You gotta understand, like I'm putting, I, I don't believe I'm putting myself at risk because I think God uses me for a time like this. He put me in this situation and had y'all follow me from George Bush, don't care, to you know, I had the best video, to now. For some reason, y'all are interested. Two Chainz said, why is y'all black? Well, y'all know this looking. Like, <laughs> y'all are, are interested for some reason. And they wanted to medicate me every day. You realize, like, they could have just switched to medication and I wouldn't be here. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue, right? Yeah. I ain't never been back to the hospital since 2015, but every time they say I'm crazy, it's just when I'm saying the truth. So what's the crazy part, really? What's the crazy part, really? They can't scare you, they can't control you, they can't, they, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize They you. can't control me, you get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. Not you. You know what I'm saying? And just for Minister Farrakhan, I love you. But the way you read that, I took that as a slight. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't take no disrespect from nobody. So let's get on the phone and let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. That said, it is also quite common to know that Jay-Z's relationship with Beyonce has now been damaged due to his previous infidelity, which has created friction in the family dynamic, particularly with Beyonce's sister Solange. Currently, Solange thinks Jay-Z controlled and manipulated Beyonce to make her into his ideal spouse. Obviously, Queen Bee has also finally seen the light, and fans couldn't be happier. Also, let's not overlook the fact that Solange's concerns about Jay-Z are justified in light of the most recent allegations made against him, which include the claim that he has long used drugs to manipulate Beyonce, that even the entire industry agrees with, given Jay-Z being close friends with Diddy, who is basically the industry dealer. Not to mention, it's hardly shocking that there are rumors that Jay-Z introduced Beyonce to drugs given Hollywood's history of substance abuse. Additionally, it's feasible that Jay-Z may have this kind of influence over Beyonce given his past history of drug selling. Also, let's face it, at parties in Hollywood, drugs are notorious for being passed around like candy. We have heard Gene Deal disclose, for example, that Diddy, who is also close to Jay-Z, throws lavish parties where celebrities, especially A-listers like Beyonce and Jay-Z, are not immune to the allure of drugs. So it's not impossible that Beyonce's drug use was influenced by Jay-Z in an attempt to maintain control over her. Not to forget, according to Kanye West, Solange, Jaguar Wright, and even Wendy Williams, there have been long-running rumors about Beyonce's suspicious pregnancy with the rapper. And these claims, which highlight the details of their relationship, even with their enormous wealth and popularity as a Hollywood power couple, confirm those rumors. Plus, there are rumors that Jay-Z and Solange are still at differences, and that Solange is still not permitted to join the family after their famous elevator brawl. Take a look. We knew something wasn't right between Jay-Z and Beyonce when Queen Bee's sister Solange and her husband, rapper and producer Jay-Z, got into an intense fight inside an elevator not too long ago. She, um, the first person I saw was B. And Beyonce was like, yo, let me holla at you. And I'm like, uh -oh. Beyonce said, let me holla at you? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yo, you know, so I went over there and, and hollered. And she was like, yo. Yeah, and she was just telling me, like, they, like, you know, that they, 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 they rock didn't with me. That. Okay. They rock with me and they, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't know what that, and I really didn't even think when I was saying it, these like. are real people that you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, I just this. didn't really connect to it like that, you know what I mean? And you say a lot of things, and punchline style is just to say something to, be catchy and metaphoric and catch up, but I didn't, you know, see the deeper side of it. And Beyonce, you know, I ain't gonna share the exact conversation, but she showed me, you know, told me like, you know, these are, this is people, like, you know what I mean? Some saying something like that could personally hurt her. And right. that kind of, so I had days I, that I devoted to, on Wednesdays, I took off from work and that was Solange's day. And she was a lot younger than Beyonce. And it was tough because she was five years older and Beyonce was this little superstar in our, in our city. 
And so I took them to counseling so that very early so that the counselor could help Beyonce be more sensitive to Solange because she couldn't stand her for a minute. You know, when they were little, she was five, she was all in her stuff. She was trying to hang around her and her friends and Beyonce was really irritated, but it made her more sensitive to who her sister was and what, what she had to deal with because of her. So the question that remains here is, who wouldn't step in to protect their husband from being physically assaulted in front of the entire industry? It's also said that Beyonce has been under pressure from Solange and other people close to her to confront the reality of her troubled marriage to Jay and his involvement in the Diddy freak-offs. Then again, there has also been friction in the family dynamic, particularly with Solange, as a result of Jay-Z's previous infidelity clouding his relationship with Beyonce. So, essentially, Solange thinks Jay-Z controlled and manipulated Beyonce to make her into someone he can misuse and eventually offer to Diddy. I have a beautiful uh, a wife who was understanding and knew that I'm not the, the worst of what I've done. And like, we did the hard work of going to therapy and we love each other. It also confirms the notion that their marriage is just for show, even though countless fans who have been guessing about their relationship for a long won't be shocked by this discovery. Why? Well, because they are still the most powerful duo in Hollywood, invited and praised almost everywhere, and haven't broken up despite Jay-Z's infidelity. That's right. Well, it's my soulmate, it's the person I love, you know. And you and you you can be in love with someone. You can love someone and you not and if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're gonna have complications. Period. And if you, you can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. And, you know, for us, we chose to for, fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying. It's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. Then again, Beyonce's recent choice to finally speak up for herself has strengthened the idea that their marriage serves more practical interests than passionate love, even though Jay-Z could find it difficult to convince certain people of the sincerity of their love. And to be really honest, if there's one thing we know for sure about all of this, it's that Jay-Z has admitted to being in toxic relationships in the past and to have ruined the lives of numerous young girls. Remember Aaliyah? So, taking everything into account, if everything proceeds according to plan, and all these celebrities' alleged involvement in the freak-offs are revealed, it won't be too late to witness the rapper getting arrested for all the charges leveled against him, and Beyonce being right next to him. That's all for today. Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.